One of the first questions that people ask me when they're looking at ERP software is how much does it cost? It's always a strange question because with an ERP package like Odoo, there is lots of different options. Some people might be able to get the software for next to nothing. For others, it might be costing thousands of dollars. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at some estimated pricing for Odoo. On the Odoo homepage, we can see a link here to pricing. It asks us which modules we are wanting to add, or apps as it calls them, and how many users we might need. If I put in that we have five users and that we're going to run the invoicing, sales, accounting, inventory, e-commerce, we can see over here that it's telling us that an annual fee of 2,640 US dollars would be the cost of running that for a five user system. If I change that to a 10 user system, you can see that the price doesn't go up by as much. Part of the cost is based on the apps that have been selected and part of the cost is based on the number of users. You receive a discount to the cost per user when you initially set up to purchase the software. So if you think that you might need 20 users in a month or six months time, it can be cheaper to purchase those users initially and be paying for them even when they might not necessarily be using the software. Here's a strange example. I've still got 10 users here, but I've selected that I only want the accounting module, which normally costs $24 per month. You'll notice over here that Odoo's saying, we're happy for you to use that module at no cost. This would be a great way to evaluate the software or to get some elements of the software up and running without having any upfront costs. If you are only selecting a few modules, the system will allow you to do this. You can see here I've selected website, e-commerce and invoicing and I've got those same options. But as soon as I add on inventory or accounting, you'll notice that the cost of the software now increases. There's two other factors that determine the cost of using the system. One is the type of hosting that you're wanting to use. The standard cloud hosting option, the self hosting option or the Odoo SH cloud platform option. The cloud platform SH model allows you to make personalization to the software and also to determine the amount of resources resources that Odoo gives to your organization. If speed is of critical importance and you're needing to have the software personalized, Odoo SH may also be an option for you. When we select SH, it asks us how many workers there will be, how much storage you will have, and how many staging environments there will be. The number of workers isn't how many computers or users there are gonna to be to the system. The number of workers is the amount of processing power Odoo allocates to your particular use of the system. Increasing the number of users will increase by $57 per month, your cost of using the software, but will also increase the speed of your access to the system. It is recommended that you have one additional Odoo worker per 25 back-end users and one additional worker per 5,000 front-end visitors to a web page if you're hosting a page through Odoo as well. Although it does depend on what elements of the software you're using and how large your database files will be. Many users start off with only a few workers and then add them on at a later stage. It's interesting to note here as well that if I change the quotation so that it only has the apps that were free under the hosted version, under the Cloud SH version, it is no longer free. You also have the option for implementation services, either do it yourself, purchase pre-purchased hours from the Odoo head office, or work with a local partner like Interact Software. If you'd like us to create a cost estimate for you as to what the running cost of the software would be, or to what implementation services you might want to use, please contact sales at interact.com.au. Thank you.